Hey guys, thanks for joining me today. I'm going to be showing you how to do a fun holiday look. This is my version of it. I hope you guys can see like the shimmery eyes and just what I've done with it. This is kind of what most people think of when they think of holiday, but I'm going to be doing a few twists to a holiday look very soon. Um, as you guys know by now, I'm doing a holiday contest, so if you guys have not heard about it yet, then you should enter. I'm doing a, um, a holiday look contest, meaning that you guys have to create a holiday look for me. And just to show you guys what I have in mind when I think of holiday, this is what I put up. But again, I'm going to be doing many variations. There's no just one way to do a holiday look. Now keep in mind, I'm more comfortable with nude lips, which is why I usually wear nude lips every day on a daily basis as well as nighttime. But if you guys don't like nude lips, you don't have to do your holiday look with nude lips. You can totally wear red or burgundy or like a wine color and be completely fine with it. So go ahead and see how I got this look. I start off with Urban Decay's Primer Potion. I'm going to take this and put this just on the top part right here of my eyelid because we're going to be using a different primer for the rest of my eye. I'll also put this one underneath. So since the eye is like really shimmery, as you can tell, what we're going to do is take Urban Decay's um, Primer Potion in the color Sin. It's such a pretty color. I'm going to take the, the slightest bit because this is extremely, extremely thick and it'll go like in every direction. Put this just on your eyelid part. You don't have to worry about being too clean with it because we're going to be cleaning it up anyway. Okay, then I'm going to be taking the color from MAC called ooh, Amber Rose. It's a really, really pretty color. Then take any flat brush of your choice. For me, that's always my 239. I'm going to be picking up Amber Lights and patting that on top of Sin. What this is going to do is that Amber Lights, it's kind of orangey, and by putting it on top of Sin, it gives it more of a gold undertone to it, to where it doesn't look so burnt orange. Okay. Then we're actually going to be taking a 224 brush, I mean, sorry, the 217 or any fluffy brush like this. I'm going to be taking a color called Brun for MAC. It's just a dark, you know, cool tone brown. Don't do this little thing right here. You're going to be using your eyes as a marker for how you should do your, um, your crease. What you're going to be doing is you're going to take your brush and just push it into the socket right here. Do little, you know, windshield wiper motions, although I've been trained never to do these little motions. I found for this it's just easier. Then go back and pick up some more. Put it right here into the corner of your top lash line, do a little back and forth motion, and then you're going to go ahead and pull your your lid back like that and make little round motions just to blend it out a little more harshly and you're just going to pick up the speed on this a little bit. I've taken the color in pretty deep as you can tell. Now this side, this middle portion of my eye needs to be more round so I'm going to pick up some color from what I already had. Like I'm not going to go back and add more but I'm just going to give it a more rounded shape right here. Like so. Then just take any rag of your choice and kind of clean up any areas that you might have made a mistake or something like that. Then I'm going to be taking a brush like this and I'm going to pick up the Urban Decay Naked Palette and the color Creep in it. Pick it up on this, and then I'm going to just draw like a V. One right there and like that. Okay. Pick up a little bit more, deepen it up a little bit right there. Okay, I'm going to go back with the 217 and just blend it. Since Brun is lighter than this black that we put, it's going to help you get that gradient effect where it looks really well blended and not like light to dark, you know, they're like middle shades. Do you see that little bit of a shadow right there? That's what you want. 
Okay, then if you look at this eye, you can tell that there's some of the dark color right up here as well. That's what we want. So we're going to kind of blend up here. You're going to kind of take it at an angle, like from here, diagonally up here is what we want. Kind of blend up there, like so. Okay, then a fluffy 224. I'm going to use the color Rice Paper, also by MAC. It's a really great highlight color. It's one that doesn't have too much shine to it. I'm going to pick up just a little bit like that. Place it right on my brow bone. Pick up a little bit more and blend out. I'm also blending into the black, into the brown, just so you get like a really good gradient effect. Then I'm going to take the other side of the 224 and blend this way so that all of these colors right here are also blended really well. Then I'm going to take a pointy brush like this and I'm going to pick up the color Soft Force by MAC, which I can't, it's not coming out of my palette for some reason, but it's this right here. It's like rice paper, but a little bit more shiny, like thicker chunks of glitter. I'm going to place that into your inner highlight, like so. Then I'm going to be taking an angled brush like this. This is from Crown Brush. I'm going to be picking up the color Hustle from the Naked Palette, which is a deep eggplant purplish kind of color right here. I'm going to draw myself a line, my lower lash line. Right here, you're going to blend into the other color that we put in, into the tear duct area. Just like so. Then take any black eyeliner of your choice and line your, um, your waterline. I'm going to be using Ramel's Jet Black Coal Pencil. Okay, then for what we're going to do next, I really would say use a gel eyeliner. I'm going to be using Max Black Track Fluid Line. I'm using this little brush. It's actually meant for your lips, but I'm using it for my eyes. I'm going to pick up the tiniest bit. I am going to stretch out my eye. Actually, yeah, let's go ahead and stretch out my eye. Make your outer corner pretty thick. And as you work your way in, thin it down. So that is the perfect shape that we want. Now we're going to wing it out. I'm going to take some more black track fluid line, hold my eye up like that. Wing it out like so. Perfect. Okay, then make sure you go back in and get all these little spots right here that you haven't been able to camouflage. Like the, the eyeshadow underneath is still kind of showing through. So make sure you get those little areas. Okay, then what we're going to be doing is that you're going to pick up your favorite pigment that is very glittery. Here are a few options. I have Copper Pigment by MAC, which is a great option. That's kind of what it looks like. This definitely has a little bit of that orange tone, and I kind of want to tone that down since the eyeshadow has that as well. This is called, what is this called? Glitter Gold, also by MAC. It's a pro color. And that's actually what I'm going to be using. What I'm going to be doing is that I can't find a flat brush that I want to use. I'm actually going to use an angle brush like this. I'm going to spray on some Fix Plus by MAC gonna take this put this into the cover of the of the pot kind of grab what's on it and place this on my eyelid what I'm gonna do that I'm not gonna place this all the way up to where the gold really is because I don't want too much of it so I'm gonna actually make it like it 
thick kind of eyeliner line. Like that. And yes, you do get quite a bit of fallout with this, so be careful. That's the reason I'm using Fix Plus, because usually I don't. Usually you don't need that, but I know this color has quite a bit of fallout. So I wanted to be sure that that doesn't ruin the look that we're going for. <sighs> okay. And then you're going to go back with your Black Track Fluid Line and just make sure that all areas are covered and doesn't look like messy and things like that. Or what you can do is do this eyeliner after you're done with um, the glitter. Yes, okay, so for my foundation I put on the NARS Sheer Glow. I'm about to add on the Mineralized Skin Finish by MAC in the color Medium Dark. The big then what we're going to use is Gila Cosmetics Highlighter. It is such a pretty, pretty highlighter. And I'm actually going to be using a smaller brush. This is the 116 by MAC. I'm going to pick up whatever's on the lid first because there's usually so much. There's no point in dipping into the actual container. Place this right on my cheekbones. And go up a little bit into my temples. Then I'm going to be using the 109 brush by MAC and my contour color, which is Blunt by MAC. And place this right here. It's going to be like right below your blush and right where your ear starts. You never want to contour too much to make it look unnatural unless you're going for a costumey look, so be careful about that. Okay. Then what I'm going to do is on top of Lovejoy, I'm going to be adding the color Earth to Earth Max Mineralized Blush and the same big powder brush. And I'm dusting just over this area. Just to give it a little bit more of a glow. Then for my lips, I've already gone ahead and put on a lip hydrant. I'm going to wipe off a little bit. Oh, also for my concealer, I used the Mia Belitza under eye illuminator and medium deep for under mattes. Then I'm going to be taking Max Lip Erase and Dim. I'm going to be picking up some just like that. I'm going to do just that. Then I'm going to align my lips with Barbecue Lip Liner by MAC also. Okay. Now for my holiday look, I'm going for a nude color, but you can go for a red as well. This is like a flesh-toned nude with a little bit of pink too. So it doesn't make you look dead, but it looks really great with these eyes because the eyes are so glittery and so much that for me, I feel like a red would be too much. I feel like red, red should be paired with like really neutral eyes without glitter, without shimmer or something very natural where it almost doesn't look like you're wearing anything. So the red is the main thing on your face. But if you guys want to do both, you should. I've just always learned as a makeup artist that you always um, focus on one area of your face, whether it's your eyes or your lips. You never want to, you know, put competition on both. It's just one or the other. Next, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be filling in my brows. And for that, I'm going to be using an angled brush by MAC and espresso eyeshadow, which is totally my favorite one. I'm just going to pick up some. And very lightly line. Hey 
Hey guys, thanks for joining me for this look. I hope it was easy and helpful, and if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask, and I'll talk to you very soon. Bye.